All right, so we have a new model kit now that we're going to be using, uh, as you can see. Um, we've got some bonds here, these gray guys that look like balloons. We've got some surrounding atoms. So that's the white, the green, the dark green. It doesn't matter what the actual element is. These guys are all just surrounding atoms. And then this one right here, these guys are all your central atoms, or the ones that are in the middle. Okay, so uh, what you guys are gonna do first is you're just gonna, since you guys don't have this kit, uh, I'm just gonna go through and build these. And then what we'll do is we'll talk about uh, what we think the geometry is gonna be, an example compound, and then what the actual Lewis structure looks like. Okay, so AX2. So we're gonna use a different um, sort of like nomenclature or a different uh, code. So at the very top of this sheet, it says that A represents the central atom. Okay, uh, the central atom has no lone pairs of electrons. So the central atom and then X is our outer atoms. So AX2, this first one just means you have one central atom and you have two atoms that are sort of surrounding that middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my center first and I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put a bond here, I'm gonna put a bond here. So I have A, the middle, and then X2, I have two atoms surrounding this middle part. So it doesn't matter what color you use, I'm just gonna use white, okay? So this is what's called AX2, that's the shape here. Now you might notice that, oh yeah, well that's linear. I can tell that's linear because it's in a line. Some of these you'll be able to tell, some of them you won't. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're going to talk about these together as a class, but first thing we're gonna do is build them all. And so I just want you guys to see, there's really nothing to write down other than, you just need to be able to see what these guys look like. And then I'm gonna refer to these when we talk about them together as a class. Okay, so everyone else in the class is sort of building these, so I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. So there's our AX2 right there. All right, again, nothing to write down. AX3, so I have one atom in the middle and then I have three atoms that are surrounding uh, that middle part. So I'm gonna put one, two, three bonds here. And again, these bonds are trying to be as far away from each other as possible. So this, this sort of configuration is the furthest possible distance that these bonds could be from each other. So that's our Vesper theory. And then I'm gonna attach an atom to each side like this. So that's as far away as possible that these guys could get like this. Now notice it's all in the same plane, okay? It's not, it's not uh, sort of entering into this like other plane here, this X, Y, and Z. This just has one specific plane, all right? So that's A, X, three. Okay, AX4 is where we have a middle, and then we have four things or atoms that are surrounding the center. So we're gonna do something like this. So we have four bonds, and then I'm gonna use green. It doesn't really matter. It's just four atoms that are surrounding the center. Okay, so this guy looks like this. Now, this is where we enter like the three dimensions because we sort of have an X, an X and a Y and a Z plane because now you see this one's like coming out at you. So it's no longer like planar, it's no longer in one plane. So now we have more of a three dimensional sort of shape here. Uh, again, these bonds try and get as far away from each other as possible. This is as far away as you can get these bonds away from each other. Okay, so that's called AX4. AX5, again, is where we have five atoms attached to the middle. This is an exception to the octet rule, which can happen. Uh, and I'm gonna color these a little different just so you can see uh, the difference between these. Okay, so we got this guy here. I'm gonna put white atoms surrounding this guy. So we've got three atoms attached to the central atom here in this plane. And then we have another plane where we have two atoms attached. So 
we sort of have two different shapes going on here. So if you can see that, we've got the white ones, which sort of look like this guy. They look very similar to this. So the shape is similar, but then we have two more kind of sticking out on either end. Okay, so this is A, X5. And I just colored these different just so you can see sort of the difference between the two different planes here. All right, AX5, AX6. We'll have six atoms attached to the middle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and I'm gonna put white around the sides like this. And I'm gonna put one here and one here. Okay, so this is six different <clears throat> elements uh, or six different atoms attached to the center. So A, middle atom, X6, six atoms attached to the middle. So AX6 looks like this. And what you guys are going to uh, do is you're going to try and figure out, well, what shapes are these? Okay, so now we get into the second column here or the second, uh, the second sort of table. Now, this is where we're going to introduce this E here. So again, A is the central atom. X is atoms bonded to the central atom. And then this E right here stands for lone pairs. So this is now where if you have dots on the central atom. So the first one is going to have three atoms attached to the middle. So one, two, three. Okay, and we we'll use a dark green, so it looks like this. So we have AX3, but notice it looks a lot different than this AX3. That's because we also need to put some dots or some lone pairs on that central atom, which is gonna make the shape different. How we do lone pairs is we put one of these guys on like this, and then we just put this tan one. So this is a lone pair of electrons. This is two dots. Okay, so it kind of gives this shape. So these are both three atoms attached to the center, but this one now has lone pairs on the center also. So it's going to form a different shape because these guys want to be as far away from each other as possible, but they also want to be away from this as well because these are two electrons. So it's sort of squashes down into this into this shape. Okay, so A, X, 3, E. And then the last one is A, X, 2, E, 2. So that is where we are going to put, so A, X, 2, so we have two atoms attached to the center, like this. So there's A, X, 2. And now we're gonna have two lone pairs also on the, uh, on the center as well. So we're going to do this. Here's one lone pair and here's another lone pair. So it looks like that. So now this guy is two atoms attached to the center. So AX2. So remember this is also AX2, but the difference here is that we also have these lone pairs here and we have another lone pair here. So these bonds want to be as far away from each other as possible, but they also want to be away from these two. So it almost looks like this shape. Uh, it's very similar to this shape where we have um, four atoms attached, four things attached to the middle. It's just two of them are now lone pairs instead of two bonds, okay? So that's another shape. That's A, X2, E2. And we're gonna try and figure out what shape that is, all right?